Hello, I'm Dr. Mangla Devi. I'm the clinical director at Smile Baby IVF. I'm qualified from NUHS Singapore. Stem cells are essentially cells which can give rise to other cells which can be used to differentiate into different tissues or organ systems. So these are essentially mother cells which are pluripotent in nature. That is, they can be made to form different cells which differentiate and perform different specific functions. So these stem cells can be uh, derived from a host of other uh, sources. Sources of stem cells may be embryonic stem cells. So embryonic stem cells may be uh, uh, derived from embryonic tissue and these cells are usually more pluripotent than others and they can be used to multiply into different forms of tissues such as muscle tissue or cardiac tissue or neurological tissue. Then we have what are known as adult stem cells. The source of adult stem cells are from the bone marrow or fat. These are less pluripotent than embryonic stem cells. However, nowadays research has brought along a lot of methods by which these adult stem cells can also be used to produce adult tissues and organs. Then we also have somatic cell nuclear transplant in which the somatic cell has been transplanted into an embryonic cell and direct the embryonic cell to produce more cells of the same type. Apart from this, we have what is known as perinatal stem cells. That is, these cells are derived from perinatal tissues such as amniotic fluid or the placenta or the cord. So what are the uses of these stem cells? So stem cells can be used for research purposes to study different diseases as to how these diseases occur and what are the causes for these diseases by observing the stem cells multiplying. Apart from that, stem cells can also be used in drug research where the effects of several drugs on these tissues can be carried on. Stem cells can also be used in regenerative medicine where certain tissues or certain organs that are missing can be produced by these stem cells and then transplanted into the particular organism to allow the function to be continued.